Hello, I'm Renaud from More Mountains and welcome to this Corgi Engine tutorial about minimal scene requirements. Um, in the Corgi Engine, like in most Unity projects, uh, you can add lots of stuff to your scene. You can have ladders, you can have enemies, you can have uh, you know background elements, you can have lots of stuff. It's really up to you, it can be huge, it can be really small, uh, you decide. But whatever you do, there are a few elements required for the engine to work. Um, the engine actually includes two examples of these minimal scenes. We'll go over them in details. Uh, the first one I'd like to show you is the minimal level. Uh, the next one will be the minimal four players um, scene because for multiplayer it's a bit different. So let's go into the minimal level. As you can see, uh, if I press play, we are in a really, really minimal level uh, where you can run, you can uh, wall slide, wall jump, crouch and stuff, but obviously there's not much to do. Uh, so what does the scene contain? Well, we have a first prefab called Game Managers, which contain a Game Manager, Sound Manager and Achievement Rules. You could decide that you don't want these last two, so you can uh, disable them or remove them. Uh, they're not mandatory. Um, then we have the UI camera. The UI camera is responsible for displaying uh, well the HUD and uh, the point numbers, but also it contains the mobile buttons, it contains um, the post screen transitions. Uh, it's it's actually quite a, a big prefab, but you can you can get rid of it. Uh, if you decide to get rid of it, you can simply uh, delete that. But remember that uh, you will need an input manager. The input manager right now is on uh, the UI camera. So if you just you know copy the component, um, create a new game object empty, call it input manager and uh, you know paste uh, the component the, the input manager then you can remove the ui camera press play again obviously you don't have a head anymore but you can still play if you just remove it without creating the input manager you won't be able to get input anymore and obviously uh, you'll be really sad um, what else do we have we have a level manager that's an important um, game object because it handles the spawning of um, your characters. Um, it also handles all the spawn respawn mechanism, uh, which is what happens when you die. Uh, it's mandatory for all scenes that contain characters. Uh, you don't need one for the splash screen, for example, of course. Um, and, and whatever you do, make sure you specify a playable character um, inside your level manager. Uh, then we have a camera. Uh, this one has a camera control on it, but uh, you could decide uh, that you don't want one, so you just uh, you know remove that and that. You press play. Of course, your camera won't follow your player around anymore, but uh, you know some games don't need a moving camera. And um, lastly, we need a, a level. So uh, well. Thanks for that, Unity. Um, so our level will be, in, in my case, it's made of a level start position that I bound to the level manager here, somewhere here. And, um, and then there are platforms, uh, mostly a big background that I can remove and uh, some, some platforms that not make up the ground and the walls. Um, of course, you could have a level without uh, any walls, so I can, you know, remove that one and that one and that one and this one there. And if I put my my level start above the ground, that that's probably the most minimal level that you can do in the the Corgi engine. That's all you need. You actually need in a level. You can add more stuff, but um, if you start with that basis, you'll be all set. All right, now let's have a look at the, the four players uh, minimal scene. So uh, let's just forget about that. So you can see it's uh, again a really, really simple um, scene, um, really minimal. And as you can see, I'm uh, there's only one me here and uh, I'm using one keyboard to move two characters. Well, I guess I could also move more of them at the same time, but I, I've only got so many hands. <laughs> Yay! That, that was fun. Um, 
not not really intuitive to to play uh, alone with four players <coughs> sorry so um what do we have in all scene if i just stop the application uh you'll see that we have four input managers uh, instead of only one in the single player scene that's because we need to have this player binding um, all of these will be responsible for catching only uh, the input of player like player 4 in this case and distributing that input to uh, the associated character which is um, something that you set inside the multiplayer uh, level manager that I've lost it's here um, so here we have our level manager basically the same thing as uh, previously but we have four characters one two three four and we have this checkbox here that says auto, att auto attribute player IDs which means that this player will get um, the player 1 ID, player 2, player 3, player 4 um, if you want to know more about that you can uh, dive into the input manager documentation it will explain a lot but um, apart from that uh, we also have like four uh, starting positions instead of one in uh, the single player level that's because um, uh, we need them to, to spawn our four characters um, as you can see the checkpoint attribution axis uh, is paid on X so we'll have one two three four uh, because these are this one is slightly to the right of, of this one so uh, it goes from uh, left to right and we have a, a multiplayer camera which is um, just a static uh, really static camera and and that's it uh, that that's basically the same as uh, a single player one uh, now you know how to create uh, a minimal scene or at least you know what what it needs to contain um, good luck with your your project and bye